Markham joins us in the newsroom with news from around the world. Ellen, I hear Sarah Palin is drawing a big crowd in. What's going on? Absolutely right, Katie. Sarah Palin is not running for office this time, but she can always attract big crowds. Hundreds of passionate supporters cheered and waved American flags to the former vice presidential candidate when she arrived in Jacksonville, Florida, early this morning. Palin is in town to promote her new book, Going Rogue, American Life. 500 tickets were handed out Monday, and customers had the chance to meet Palin for an autograph at the event. The former Alaskan governor also made an appearance at local bookstores and at a highly Republican retirement community. The U.S. President and Indian Prime Minister have pledged to fully put into action a nuclear accord after talks in Washington, in addition to reaching agreements on issues as diverse as international security, job creation, and climate change. In a news conference, President Obama said that he and Man Mohan Singh had reaffirmed both of their administration's desire to push ahead with the civilian nuclear deal. The deal allows Washington to authorize selling advanced nuclear-related technology to India, reversing more than 30 years of U.S. policy banning the export of nuclear material. The Spanish authorities have arrested 34 people near the capital of Madrid, who, who they say were members of a youth group associated with the band group Basque separatist called ETA. The U.S., Spain, and the European Union classified ETA as a terrorist organization. The group is accused for more than 800 deaths since 1970. Police have arrested more than 70 ETA suspects in Spain and France this year alone. The Interior Ministry of Spain stated ETA terrorists continually create street violence. The suspects were to be taken to Madrid for court appearances in the upcoming days. For more information, visit tvsnews.com and I will join you at 5.30 for more updates on the stories. Back now to the desk.